hey do you guys want to do some Q&A so in this new video format we're gonna zip through a project on the screen while we tackle some Q&A in your ear hole let me know what you think about this format in the comment section below and some questions for the next Q&A there as well provided this doesn't get flamed to death so see the video description for info about the knife you see being made here because the audio is just gonna be Q&A well, so, uh, let's get to it. So the first question is, what blacksmith level or what blacksmith rank are you? And this is probably a tongue-in-cheek question relating to blacksmithing and video games, but I'll answer it. I've been doing this for three and a half years now out of my garage, and I'm not a blacksmith. I don't pretend to be. Um, I only know a tiny or small number of the techniques that they use. I have immense respect for those guys. They're long hours, knowledge, technical skill. It's an amazing craft, and someday I hope to know more uh, about it. Uh, but my smith level now would be called zero and uh, or I've referred to myself as an amateur hack in that regard in the past so I am an apprentice level bladesmith in the American Bladesmith Society um, which means essentially that I pay my annual dues and I work towards testing to be a journeyman smith uh, although some of those skills might overlap with uh, those of a blacksmith the scope of what I do as a bladesmith is much smaller so uh, and I'm on the you know the front end of that journey. So visit the ABS website, American Blacksmith Society website. They're a terrific organization. They have a lot of good information. They sell some instructional videos, and uh, they have a really nice YouTube channel. So check the links. Links below. Next question: Will you make me a knife, or how much are your knives? And I get requests for custom knives frequently. The most uh, common thing that happens is that inquiry grinds to a halt when folks figure out my price range is about 200 to 350 dollars for a four to five inch blade depending on materials and complexity um, there's usually you know I, I have a spreadsheet trust me there's about 40 to 90 dollars of materials and consumables in uh, each knife plus labor which is the most expensive part um, the knives take about five to nine hours for simple ones you know depending on multiple factors I have Three other jobs, I have the ability to work extra shifts if, if wanted for good money. So if, I, if I'm if i spending time away from my family making money, um, the value of that time is determined for me right now based on my other jobs. So if, you know, looking at the market, you know, for a custom knife, by the way, um, uh, you know, I, I see beautiful four and five inch blades uh, by Caleb White, Lon Humphrey, North River, Fiddleback. Three Rivers, semi-production knives at Bradford and Golf Custom all come in between $230 and $395. So from a market standpoint, uh, I think that's that's the right price. Uh, but it's not really a question of the market. You know, I um, and it's not a question of why, what I think my knives are worth, you know, and that might surprise you guys. I, I might not feel my knives are worth that much in some cases, but it's completely 100% a question of how much my time is worth in this case and at this, at this point in my life. And I hope that changes someday uh, it might and um, I'll, I'll get to have more control over that so next what's the white powder you put on the hot metal this is the all-time most common question and it's been mentioned in several of the videos but it still comes up and um, it's flux the material is flux in this case simple store-bought borax it's very inexpensive and what flux does is when you're forge welding it helps prevent oxidation on the metal surfaces those two opposing surfaces and it carries away any oxides or scale that might build up and prevent that uh, forge welding from being completed successfully. Well, that's it. That's all we have time for. Short and sweet, yes. Uh, hopefully you guys will let me do more of these. Um, in the meantime, check out the description below for a link to this knife's eBay charity auction. I hope you guys are proud of the money you're raising there in these auctions. It's an incredible thing, so thank you. Post questions in the comment section below that you want to see addressed, and let's talk again soon.